Oh, hey. I didn't see you guys. My name is Hunter Stare, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Odoo referrals and recruitment app, and how you can attract the best talent using Odoo technology and referrals. Uh, let's get started. So I want to start with a little presentation. So, we're going to learn about attracting talent with the referrals and the recruitment tools. And first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Hunter Stair, and uh, I have been a senior recruiter at Odoo. Uh, I've been here for about three and a half years now. I'm also an immigration and mobility specialist for the Western Hemisphere. I've watched uh, Odoo SF grow from about 55 people to about 235 at this point over about three and a half years. Um, and I haven't had a haircut in about six months, and that's the only interesting things about me. So why are referrals helpful for your company? Well, first of all, uh, hiring from a talent pool that your current workers are already familiar with are more likely to give you a higher probability of alignment with the role, a higher probability of culture fit, and employees feel more invested in the growth of the company. They feel like that they have agency. Uh, finally, in terms of just pure practicality, uh, the dollar to uh, resume ratio or the dollar to hire ratio for referrals can be much better than through traditional means like career fairs or job boards. Uh, by You can figure this out by calculating the amount that you spend on those other sources and then setting incentives, referral incentives, for your employees uh, below that. That way everybody can save money and at the same time you can reward your employees and everyone's happy. We'll talk more about that later. So that's why referrals are helpful to your business, but why specifically is the referral app from Odoo useful? Well, first of all, it definitely takes a lot of the headache out of the process of tracking referrals and the allocation of the rewards for those referrals, because normally you're going to be using ad hoc methods like Excel spreadsheets and calendar reminders, and it just gets messy and it gets confusing. Uh, it's much better to have everything unified in one system, which is really the Odoo way in the first place. Next, uh, it gamifies the referral process. It lets employees earn points that they can redeem later for rewards. It's like an old school arcade uh, where you can uh, play games and earn points, and that is more engaging. Uh, finally, uh, it keeps people aware of the incentives program, and therefore that keeps the referrals coming, which of course increases engagement, which is really uh, the overwhelming uh, aim of this tool. So I want to show you guys how the referral app works a little bit. First, I'm going to do a couple of slides. So as you can see here, here's a view of the main dashboard of the referrals application. Uh, and you can see uh, right in the middle there, there's uh, you, you're the hero. And off to the sides of you are going to be all of the referrals that ultimately get hired into Odoo along the way. And then along the bottom there, you can see information about ongoing referrals, total number, successful number, and we'll get more into these features later. Uh, employees can also go into the referrals app. They can look up all of the open jobs at your company, uh, which is linked to the uh, Odoo website builder as well as the Odoo recruitment app if you have those. Uh, and then they can see the, the job descriptions uh, and they have a few different methods to be able to share uh, the jobs either through social media or through uh, referring a friend directly through email. Finally, uh, it's easier to keep track of referrals and the uh, allocation of the awards uh, using the reporting method here. Uh, so you can pull up uh, any of the points that uh, any of your employees have earned. You can compare people against each other. Uh, they can get a nice, healthy little bit of competition going on. And you can uh, then manage your referrals in the recruitment application alongside all of the other candidates that you're recruiting from other sources. And therefore, you can start to compare uh, for yourself the uh, efficacy of a referral incentives program over, like I said, more traditional sources like job fairs and career boards. So uh, within uh, the recruitment app, uh, recruiters can, we, we were talking a little bit about this earlier uh, in regards to uh, being able to calculate uh, cost per hire, cost per resume. You can run reports, your recruiters can run reports within the recruitment's application uh, 
filtering for various sources and determine the efficacy of these sources. You know, so how many resumes are you getting? How many uh, of those resumes result in a hire? And of course, how much are you going to be spending on each one of these job boards or each one of these career fairs uh, every single time you use them? So at this point, I'm going to switch over to Odoo itself, and I'm going to give you a little demo of uh, some of the features of both of these applications. So here we have, uh, like I said, uh, the referrals application. This one's set up for me. You can see my picture up there uh, from back uh, when haircuts were available. Uh, and you can see I have 11, I'm very prolific in the referrals app. I have 11 referrals, nine of which are ongoing, two of which are successful. So you can see me here in the middle and you can see my two referrals off to the side of me. Here we have one referral, uh, my friend Megatroid Skittle and my other referral, uh, Beezer12 Washing Beard, great guy. And as you can see from these two uh, successful referrals, as well as all of my ongoing referrals, I have accrued uh, 380 points. Now, uh, I'm going to be kind of switching back and forth uh, to show you functionality between becoming a user of the application. So, you know, some uh, employee who's trying to refer uh, and also being more of like the HR admin the person who's actually gonna be setting the rules, uh, determining what all the rewards are, and basically uh, configuring the game for everybody else to play. So to that end, uh, let's take a look into the configuration options. So you can set all of the different options for how you want uh, things to behave. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. You can click on rewards here, uh, and that's, that'll bring you to a list view. Uh, where you can set up different rewards for your employees. You can set up the product name, so the rewards name, the overall cost in terms of points. Uh, the, it will show you the uh, employees uh, that have been rewarded to as well, as well as the employees who uh, I believe um, who have the responsibility to uh, dispense rewards. Uh, so if you go into, for example, the first one I picked, I picked Yeezys, so those are expensive designer shoes. Uh, they cost a thousand points. You can uh, add anything you want. You can add information, a description. You can add a picture from images like I did. If you go to levels, uh, you can see all of these different levels here. Some of them are pre-generated. You can see one through five. Uh, you can set the points, configure it so that uh, different amounts of uh, levels reach different uh, reach with different points. I've already done so. Uh, so you can see uh, zero points for the first level, 100 for the second, and so on and so forth. And you can see at the bottom that I created my own level. You know, if you make it past level five, uh, then you become the 1997, 1998 Chicago Bulls. That is very difficult. It takes uh, 10,000 points to reach that level. So going back to the dashboard, Here we go. Going back to the dashboard, you can see the rewards from the perspective of the actual employees. So here is a much cleaner view. It's much nicer. You can see expensive designer shoes, expensive designer shoes, uh, some less expensive awards. Uh, you get to be the first one in lunch, uh, in line for lunch for two weeks. Uh, you get to choose the next rotation of office beer in the recreation room. Uh, for 10,000 points, you can become Wolverine. And for a million points, you will get uh, the Tesseract, which is a fourth dimensional hypercube that enables the wielder to slip the confines of third dimensional reality. You get it. All right. So moving on, uh, let's see how the referral app interacts with the recruitment app automatically. So I'm recruiting for a business systems analyst position. Here it is. Uh, you can click in the applications. You see we have 20 ap different applications running here uh, in the Kanban view. One moment. Yes. And uh, the Kanban view shows all of the different applicants, uh, their profiles that can be clicked on to get more information, as well as the different stages in the interview process. All of this, by the way, is customizable and configurable. And here we have the initial qualification stage, uh, first interview, second interview, the contract proposal, and ultimately contract signed for whenever uh, they have officially become a member of the team. Over here, you can see uh, 
as you could see in the recruitment app, my two referrals, uh, Beezer12, Washing Beard, and uh, Megatroid Skittle, who have made it all the way through the referral process. Uh, and you can also uh, see that there's several other uh, candidates here, several other employees, some of whom have been referred by other employees within the team. Like I said, you can track the progress of different people's referrals against one another. Uh, you can also see the various activities that are being scheduled. So there's going to be a, a second round interview uh, with uh, Hingle McCringleberry in uh, about 12 days, for example. Uh, but I want to show you the functionality here. So uh, let's go back to the referrals app for a moment. As you notice, I'm level two. I have 380 points. Uh, as the candidates are taken, let's say that uh, my referral uh, this is, I believe, one of my referrals, Equine Ducklings. Yes, you can see right here, uh, it was referred by, oh, no, this one was uh, from a different candidate, so I'm not going to use him. It was referred by the user Marble McMarbley Face, uh, which is not me. Uh, I believe that this is one of my referrals, uh, X-Men, Xmas Jackson Flaxen Waxen. Yes, you can see right here, referred by user Hunter Stare. Uh, so we're in the contract proposal stage right now. I'm going to move him over to the contract sign stage, which the Odoo system will automatically recognize as a signal to count him as a new referral within the referrals application. So let me refresh. And go to the dashboard. My Airbnb does not have great internet. I apologize for the delay. But don't worry, the payoff is gonna be amazing. They can probably edit out how long uh, this uh, refresh is taking uh, in post. There we go. Okay, Xmas Jackson Flaxen Waxen has been hired. So now I get to choose an avatar for my new friend. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, this little cyborg dog because I've been wanting this guy. And as you can see, he has been added to my party and I have gained 430 points and I just uh, am about to level up to level 3. So I clicked to... Oh, I leveled all the way up to level 4. Great. Uh, I never dreamed that I would get this far, and I'm very, very proud of myself. So I'm going to wrap up by uh, grabbing myself a reward. I don't want to be Wolverine. I don't want to uh, own the Tesseract and become an unfeeling ghost. So instead, I am just going to uh, purchase this uh, chance to choose all of the beers in the office. Alright, so my, now my supervisor will be, or whoever it is, is responsible, HR, admin, team, whoever's responsible for fulfilling that reward will get the notification uh, that I am going to be the person who gets to pick all of the next beers in the office, and I will be very, very happy. And uh, my friend Xmas Jackson Flaxen Waxen is now going to be a new business systems analyst here at Odoo. So it's been a really, really great day for me uh, and for my friends. And this is how you can use the Odoo referral app uh, to uh, build your business and to uh, save money at the same time. So I hope you very much enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much for listening. And I am available now for any questions, uh, if anyone has any. Thank you very much.
I'm so sorry. I wish we had a technical issue. I, <laughs> you might have not heard me, so I will repeat myself. Um, we will uh, address all of your questions as we go. So um, please keep in keep answer, keep asking your questions as we answer the previous ones. Um, if we don't manage to cover all of your questions during this Q and A session, there will be a link posted in the chatter to an extended Q and A where Hunter will be present for you to uh, to address them. So let's start with um, the question around mobile compatibility of the referral app for situations like. I'm a user, I'm at a party, I meet someone, I want to quickly uh, include in my referral program. Is that something the referral application can do? Definitely. You know, there's a lot of tools that you can use, such as the referral app uh, mobile, uh, that allow you to avoid dealing with annoying things like business cards. I mean, who wants to use business cards anymore, especially in a post-COVID world? Uh, way too much hassle. So a uh, couple. So one thing that we've done is uh, we've created it so that you can use the Odoo uh, referral and recruitment app very, very easily on the mobile device. As an Odoo recruiter myself, I actually use it all the time because I'm always running around the office because we have such a huge open floor plan and I'm constantly working off of my phone as opposed to just my laptop. So I found it very, very easy to use the recruitment tool to sift through all my candidates, uh, you know, get a message from somebody off of the Discuss app about a referral that they have and, you know, some questions about how they can use the referral app. And then I can just send them a link from within Odoo and uh, I can do all of this on my phone. Uh, okay. You say you're at a party to take your example. Uh, you can, well, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can very simply just show them, uh, share them the link to the job, show them your phone, get their number, you know, type a little email the way that people do, or a little mess, or a little, uh, their email or their phone number the way that people do. So you can send uh, the job description for the specific role that you're talking about directly to them. And, and that, of course, will uh, integrate with the website uh, and allow for you to uh, be tracked. So, you know, since you're sending it from your uh, user profile, you're then going to be able to track the referrals that you send out through this method, you know, using the referral application through the email function in that way, through the social media function. Um, other things that you can do, you can even get more creative. You can, something that we like to do in the SF office, especially um, when we're out and about, uh, is create uh, QR codes that mm. uh, link directly to LinkedIn, for example, because, you know, the, the website, your website as, a, as an Odoo customer is one thing, but you know that people also love using LinkedIn for recruiting as well, you know, uh, candidates do. Um, so to make it as quick and easy as possible, you can also include, include QR codes as well to integrate okay. to those social media. That's a fantastic uh, list of applications and scenarios in which yeah, the mobile um, compatible app can be used. We have uh, gotten a question from Rathod. Can we add any reward like salary instead of a mug or coupon to employee who refer the applicant? That, and of secondly, course. can we set a date for alert so that it automatically disappears from the dashboard? Okay, well, I definitely understand the first question perfectly well. Mm -hmm. uh, and to answer that question, uh, yes, absolutely. I I'm sorry, could you repeat the, the exact wording of the first question? Yes, of course. Can we, have, can we add any reward like salary instead of a yeah. mark or coupon to employee who refer the applicant? Definitely. And that's actually how we started uh, things off in the SF office. Uh, and to speak, uh, we maybe we'll talk a little bit about this in a bit, so I won't get too into the weeds on it. But uh, one of the great things about referrals is the fact that you can uh, figure out some sort of award, even if it's monetary, that can uh, go below what you usually spend to hire a person. Like, let's say it typically takes your company, you know, like um, $800. Uh, to get a single hire off of Glassdoor, for example. Uh, okay, great. Uh, you decide that you want to set incentives uh, for anything below that number, and you could just have a pure uh, cash payout, which is what we've done in the past. But um, this is, I think, more fun, more uh, interactive. Yeah, I agree with you. 
talking about the reporting capacities of the recruitment app as well for things like cost per hire. Can you elaborate mm. a little bit on uh, the features and functionalities that Odoo offers here? Definitely. I mean, Odoo has uh, very robust reporting features that behave, I would say, very, very similarly across um, pretty much any application you could think of, the CRM, the recruiting application, the, uh, the referrals application that we're also talking about. And um, I would say that, I'm, I'm sorry, um, could, could you repeat the second part of the question again? A uh, little bit to this, that you elaborate a little on the reporting uh, functionalities that yeah, exactly. go along so with it, the recruitment app. It really uh, depends a lot, though, on training your employees and making sure that you have a, that you design from the very beginning how you're going to track everything. You know, the best way to do it is through the tagging feature, in my opinion, uh, as well as through sources. Uh, mm -hmm. So the source field, uh, you need to make sure that that's very clean. You need to make sure that your trackers are set up in such a way as to where all of the sources are going to be consistent. There's not going to be a bunch of duplications of different sources. So all of this yeah. takes just a little bit of planning and organization beforehand. And then teaching all of your recruiters, your HR, to um, use specific tags for specific purposes consistently so that if you want to run a report on uh, you know, how many... Um, like uh, uh, people of like an appropriate alignment with the role or the appropriate language are, um, you know, going into the ATS from the specific job source in comparison with people who are completely irrelevant or uh, how many people over the course of X amount of time uh, were able to make it all the way to the final interview stage mm. uh, for this specific role within Glassdoor. Um, or uh, LinkedIn, or uh, Indeed, you know, some of the major ones that we use. Uh, and so generating those reports allows you to figure out the cost per hire. Uh, you know, you're going to also have to pull in sheets as well, um, you know, to actually do the calculations. And then you can build these reports and then share them with the rest of your team to show, okay, so over the past five months, we have spent, like I was saying, you know, $800 per hire on Glassdoor for the business systems analyst role, and then calculate your rewards and incentives based off of that. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, last but not least, can you elaborate a little bit on the level of integration that the recruitment and referral app comes with with other applications within the Odoo suite? I think that that's very important. And as an uh, employee who has been working with all of these applications, well, with the exception of the referral one, which I'm newer to, so I'm speaking of, I guess, primarily the website builder, the, um, um, and so to some extent, the email marketing, certainly the recruitment app. Um, what's the other one that I probably find myself using the most frequently in con congruence with those? I mean, th those are definitely the biggest ones. Uh, and in terms of like how they integrate, it's just been getting better and better and better every year, uh, more and more seamless. You know, so I, for example, go to uh, create a brand new position, you know, performance marketing specialist role. Uh, I create the job description and that automatically integrates to create a template that I've pre-built uh, that is going to go directly to the Odoo website, you know, odoo.com slash jobs uh, and instantly is going to be available for anybody to see there. That same uh, website description, job description on our website landing page is automatically integrated with the referrals app. That's the functionality that you get with the sharing. Uh, with the ability to th do the tracking as well. And everything, uh, really, I, I, I see the recruitment app as sort of the uh, foundation upon which both of those things are built. Uh, but I am a recruiter, so I guess my perspective would be a little bit biased. <laughs> um, as far as integration with uh, social media is concerned and platforms like LinkedIn, can you elaborate a little bit on what recruitment and the referral app comes with in that sense? Sure. So we keep it very simple. Uh, essentially, we use trackers. You, there's um, a portion of, you know, if you think of the different job positions within your recruitment app as different decks of cards, you know, full of candidates, uh, you can select one, you know, go into the uh, option to look at the trackers, and then you can set up trackers, uh, which are essentially, they act as email aliases, 
uh, for the main email that is that job position's core root email. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can set up all these different aliases, and then you link them uh, to the different job boards. Uh, so we've been getting better and better at integrating with them over the years. I remember three and a half years ago, uh, it was a little bit rough when it came to the integration of the uh, specific information from the job boards, mapping it out to the specific cards in the deck, uh, the different candidates, so to speak. Uh, but over the years, uh, it's been getting smoother and smoother and easier and easier to pull all of that data from those job boards directly into Odoo using these trackers. So essentially, you're just taking the tracker the alias that you generate for LinkedIn, for uh, Indeed, Glassdoor, whatever, and then you plug that into the field on the job board where they say, this is where the resumes or where the applicants' resumes uh, should be directed to. And bam, that sets it up. Everything's going straight to the ATS or to the recruitment application. Sorry. Fantastic. Okay, thank you for elaborating a little more on that. We have barely any time left, only 30 seconds. So I don't think there will be more time to address any other questions. If any of the viewers still have questions you wish uh, um, Hunter to elaborate on, please follow the link um, set in the chatter, which will uh, guide you to a separate extended Q&A session where you still will have the chance to address questions to Hunter. Hunter, thank you very much for it's been a pleasure. talk time and um, enjoy the continued experience. Thank you very much as well. Have a great rest of your day. It's great to see everybody.